In tech, you're not paid for the lines of code you write. No, you're paid for the number of existential crises you endure, figuring out what the code should even do in the first place. Welcome to the six levels of problem solving mastery, or as I like to call it, the ultimate developer hierarchy. Each level represents a whole new way of thinking. As you climb higher, you don't just write code, you redefine the game. Now, let's break it down. Level 1. The ground floor. Here you are handed the problem, the solution and the exact steps to implement it. It's like painting by numbers, just don't color outside the lines. But hey, mistakes are how we learn, right? And this is where you get comfortable following instructions. Think of it as tech kindergarten. Level 2. This is where your training wheels come off, slightly. You're told the problem and the solution, but now it's up to you to figure out the how. It's like solving a puzzle, except the answer is already in the box. You just have to put it together without losing any pieces. This is where creativity starts creeping into your work. Level 3. The sweet spot for most mid-level engineers. This is where your critical thinking muscles start flexing. The problem is handed to you, but the solution? That's all on you. At this stage, you stop asking what do I need to do, and start asking what's the best way to do it. A pro tip? Don't overthink everything, but maybe overthink a little. Now, welcome to level 4. Here it's not just about solving problems, it's about solving the right problems. Prioritization becomes your superpower. The goal? Maximize impact with minimal effort. But let's face it, at this level you're balancing between productivity and an existential debate on what even matters. And then comes level 5. And now you're playing detective. Your job is to uncover hidden problems no one else sees and figure out which ones are worth your time. At this level it's all about connecting the dots no one else even knew existed. Welcome to the realm of proactive problem solving and occasional paranoia. And finally, level 6, the realm of visionaries. Here you're not solving problems, you're predicting them. Future-proofing becomes your mantra. And at this level, you are less of a coder and more of a strategic thinker. You design frameworks that other people, at lower levels, will rely on. You're basically the Gandalf of tech. So, which level are you at? Remember this hierarchy isn't about saving beginners or glorifying seniors. It's a roadmap. We all need a roadmap. It's a way to measure how you think and grow. Labeling up isn't just about skill. It's about asking better questions, seeing the bigger picture, and knowing when to zoom in on the details. And here's the secret. No one stays at one level forever. Sometimes even the best engineers have to drop to level 1 to fix a bug at 2am. So don't stress about where you are right now. Focus on the climb. And remember, the higher you think, the higher you rise. Until next time, keep climbing, keep coding, and keep leveling up. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.